I'd look at separating them out into lists of, you know, clients that you're working with now, clients you've worked with in the past, um, you know, uh, suppliers, you know, you could break them down into the different categories to think about the kinds of communications that you might have with them. You will get better results from your email marketing if it can feel like it's tailored to the person that's receiving it, but don't let that stop you from doing email marketing. Just as you develop, if you if you can set the structure up right from the start so that you know that you can then identify people in the system based on whether they're, you know, a supplier, a subcontractor, a potential client, a past client, you know, that kind of stuff. It'll make your life easier when you do want to gear it up and, and write more individual emails. And, you know, that thing of when you like have a job fall through and you've got the opportunity to, to fill it with a gap, you then have an email list where you've tagged potential clients that you can, you've immediately, you don't have to go scouring through your system. You can actually just immediately send a, an email campaign to that list of people and say, hey, you got in touch a while ago. You're still thinking, are you still thinking about building? We've had a space come up. You know, it just facilitates that and streamlines that a lot more effectively.